Oh, completely that she's never been able to look in a romantic again. Spirit, I, you, we, that's, I have some bad news for you. You have, you have, I have something in my teeth, don't I? I think I might be- It's time to get next to you. Hey, what's up, my Corn and Corn here. We are back for some more Dead by Dead, Dead by Daylight dating sim. Well, let's get into it. By the way, sorry if you hear me drinking something. It is a nice cold Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper, you know where I'm at. I think it's a Coke product now. Coke, sponsor me. I'm not sponsored, but you can sponsor me. Some random person. Uh, finally, freedom for the from those um, preposterous premise that those four of us would have engaged in of some sort of, of thrilling two-on-two -two volleyball match. She looks at you beneath her gigantic sun hat. She takes a, a conspiratorial tone. I don't know whose idea of volleyball was in the first place, but I hate them. Uh, I tried a faint, a sprained ankle, but everyone already knows that I technically float above the ground, so everybody believed I was, I was even putting any pressure on my joints in the first place. Then I tried to annoy everyone by not giving a crap, and then that didn't work. And I tried whining, and that didn't work. I've done to kill every single person on this island, but it turns out now I'm not the only. I'm not the first person to toss those kinds of threats around on this island. But hey, <laughs> shoo, so thanks, I guess, for getting it called off. You know, you're really cute, but when you have a sword in my face, it really kind of changes the tone. Uh, are we threatening to end each other again? Ha 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 ha. Now it's why he took a cons uh, um, conspiratorial tone, his eyes shifting as, as he slips into a louder whisper. Please just make it quick. Is that what you will say? Is that is what you'll be saying when you get behind the bar to uh, to make you the drink of your dreams? Uh, uh, <laughs> hilarious, right, Dwight? Uh, right, yeah, right, right. So what you'll be having? Uh, a vodka soda, a sangria, scotch on the rocks, a uh, virgin dakiri. I don't know. Hmm. I'm a, a, a virgin daiquiri. Sorry, daiquiri. Daiquiri. A virgin daiquiri, scotch on the rocks, a sangria, or a vodka. So I particularly care for vodka when it was drinking. Scotch was alright. It wasn't huge in Scotch. I haven't really tried a daiquiri or sangria, to be honest, but uh, let's do vodka soda. Vodka soda. Coming right up. Really takes me back home, you know. Vodka is a very special drink to me. Warms the blood on the cold night in the woods. On occasion, I would, hmm, you, 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 how do I say, bump into the occasional soldier while hiking across the motherland. Oh, she's Russian. They always, uh, uh, they always had a nip of vodka tucked away in a very special sil uh, silver packet in a special little hidden pocket. But no one hides that from me. A basic, uh, uh, a bit basic to be drinking vodka on a turtle island, no, but hey, but you're mixing it with soda, really? Being passionate about being being passionate about being pointless is so last year. I also my thing if you're making it look bad, that's two strikes. Since we've fulfilled your request, our time to return to favor. I should know if there was a catch. Icebreaker time. I swear that I know I, I, I had I known they'd pull this kind of fox enthusiastic community building crap, I would have suggested to attempt to walk the lowest point of the ocean before I set foot near the bar. You don't think it could be kind of fun, a little fun. Nevertheless, I hate it. This sucks, but what? Uh, this sucks, but I could be fine, or whatever you say. Has anyone seen my hat? He, he, I've literally never seen him in a hat. If we must take small talk, I am at least picking a topic before we end. Forced to do lame improv game. Oh God, lame improv game. The nerds. The sports bar definitely think we're not dying. No. Okay. Uh, Merchant, they certain deep, uh, uh, methinks a certain someone doth protest too much. Sitting here at the beautiful sunny day afternoon, warm beneath the cool fog beneath my separate feet. The topic I, I choose is books, novels, comics, fiction, and non. Reading is the only real escape from inescapable horror of life, except my mind. The grown roads to the crowd, not a lot of readers here, I'd imagine, based on the response. They were so much more enthusiastic about drinking. Consider the situation we're in. It seems an appropriate time to ask you. 
Yo, Kuni, what's what, what's your desert island book? Which one would you thought you part with? It? Well, yeah, this is. Oh, it, it it has to be classic horror for reasons that should be obvious. No, they're also a book in the public domain. Nothing too modern. Humanity has really gotten soft these past hundred years, so they're a favorite. Uh, personally, I like Frankenstein, but. Uh, Frankenstein was okay, but it was I, I like the idea of Dr. Like, I like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. That was a really good one, personally. You know, I really enjoyed the story of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I always felt like it had another person living inside me. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde sounds like, fun, like, sounds like a fun one. I love to go story about Frankenstein. She's probably hers was probably Frankenstein because she's a deep thinker. Man, me and Huntress, uh, me and the Huntress are getting along with great. Sounds like a fun one. I'd love to get good sort of friendship, but I can't read. Not because I'm dumb, I've never actually learned to read because I was too busy learning to survive with nothing more than my own strength and cunning. Uh, so, so, same reason I didn't have a best friend that wasn't more than just a rock with a face drawn on the dried blood. Until we meet again, Roxane. Roxanne. No, uh, Roxanne. Roger looks out of the horizon a moment among the group. Well, you type. Uh, well, you tell it to me sometime. I'm not. Uh, I'm not to be able to read books by myself, but I love reading too, especially when someone does all the voices. It's really, really <laughs> it's not really a story about friendship exactly, but who cares? Of course, I'll, I'll tell it to you. It's quite a thrilling tale. Not just anyone can pull off query narration all the time. Take it from me. Quality, quality narration. You, you take it from me. You don't even need to read. You could just make it up. It'll all be fun. Sometimes, uh, sometimes we, when I find myself in an abandoned house, I like, I like to look at the photos on the wall and come up with the little stories to go with the pictures. It's a fun game we could play together. Sure. Abandoned house? Why are they abandoned? Not just giggle and gives a playful little wink. I don't know. Usually, I find the folks who abandon them. They're not in the mood to tell it to me that much. Enough about these old stories that belong to someone else. I, I, uh, I think it's time to make some new stories of my own. Before you know, before you know what's going on, Huntress is waving an empty vodka bottle in the air. A devilish uh, twinkle in her half mask covered eye. I, uh, might I suggest something a little naughty? Let's all get in a circle and spin this bad boy. Oh, the trickster! Great idea. Trickster, isn't it a bit late to introduce a new character? I thought this was one who gets to make the rules, so I'm not I'm not sure who I'm asking, but I wasn't ready for this. Hey, trickster! You got kind of a yakuza thing going on. I kind of dig it. Well, hello, and uh, what else is uh, what, uh, what is this new fan in the waiting? Beat it, hack! Oh, thank you. I don't know. Uh, I I don't know what the harm in inviting one more person to join the circle for our game. Oh, I can't say. I was just saying. Uh, I was just saying it's a great idea. Oh, I can't stay. I was just saying it's a great idea while I also teasing the secret tricksters ending. Uh, I've got much much better things to do than hang out here. I'm famous. Toodaloo. Dwight. The rules are simple. First to spin, then you swap spit. That's it. But let it be clear, this ain't a peep show. They're really, uh, we're here to have a good time, but in a classy way. All makeouts will happen out of the view of the public eye. Real romantic like. Yes, romantic is the goal, so we'll all be waiting here in complete silence trying to listen in and use our imaginations while you make out on the other side of the bar, but not watching. Like adults romantic. Well, we're well adjusted adults. You're up. You get the bottle in your hand, you, you put fate in your hands and the bottle. The game consists of two parts. The top pointer will rotate into a clockwise dimension. On the bottom, the old target will be going to point at. Is there an upcoming minigame? It's special perfect, less coordination, but there's no winning or losing. Well, technically not. But when the pointer stops, that's your result. So if it doesn't stop where you want it to, there's a bit, it's a bit like losing, but no one likes it. If you know, you don't tell them. You ready to play? Let me repeat that. Oh, it's ready. Let's just spin the bottle. Oh God! Uh, hey, you got spirit. You two are meant to be psych. You you have to actually spin multiple times to get the, the real result. First you get to first you get to three times is your true match. Now we play a pretty hardcore spin bubble game. Now get on your spin on. Oh God! Da 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 da. Haha! <laughs> you got spirit. Dot 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 Oh no! You got Trapper. Huh? No! You got Wraith. Huh? Yeah, okay. You got Spirit. Spirit is your true match. Ooh. 
Just this morning you were waiting, I think me and the Huntress on it. Probably just gonna hunt you, then Huntress have way common. You're waking up in the strange be surrounded by strangers with miniatures and now you're looking across the beach. Across oh, now you're looking across a beach towel at spirit lusting it lusting her eyes, sweat glistening on her skin. Your heart rates you can feel the pulse pounding in your ear. Spirit I Spirit takes you by hand, it's it's, it's it, and and you sit face to face on a private section of the bar. She begins to reach for you, pulling your hands out, putting your hands on your shoulders. You're sweaty, but not in the sexy way she is. You're sweating in the gross, like it's like you'd sweat in an interview for a job. You're not even clearly qualified for. You don't know what to do. You try to lock lips and say you might gross her out, so you clean, so so completely that she's never been able to look in a romantic again. Spirit, I, you, we. That's I have some bad news for you. You have, you have, I have something in my teeth, don't I? I think I might be, I think it might be seaweed. I don't know what I, <laughs> I have no idea how long it was in the No, well, maybe that's not what I'm going to say. This is not happening. Not now. Maybe not ever. If they think I'm going to make out with some stranger just because a bottle told me they've got another thing coming, and so do you. Namely, a katana in your heart. If you try to make a move under the absurd circumstances, I wasn't gonna. Yeah, I know. You seem pretty harmless and not all the bad to kiss if I were interested, which I'm not at the moment in time. I'm gonna tell them we kiss. We are. We're gonna lie to them. Uh, yeah, we are. I'm not about lying to get what I want. I'm not above lying to get what I want. So this thing about me being not, you know, the kiss, that was, that was that a lie to get me to play along? If you want to know the truth, figure it out for yourself. <laughs> Don't expect this life to just hand you gifts like me. All I ever handed was pain and suffering. Treat me well and I'll return the favor. Otherwise, try a different route and see what happens. Fair enough. I had to break up this passionate moment that we only assumed was passionate because we'd spy we didn't spy on you constantly while you stay on the island. But dinner is being served right away. We must insist that you joining us. We wouldn't want anyone dying of starvation when there are so many more interesting ways to die from. Fair enough. Seems like the next activity is mealtime. How quaint. You were expecting what? Capture the flag? Do you know how complicated it is to run a running game like that? Much more so than sitting and talking. You arrive at the cookout area to find an assortment of picnic tables scattered around. What were you expecting? Some kind of grand hall? Some huge banquet table? This ain't some prestigious fancy epic like you found, like you find on cable. Dwight and Claude, um, Claudette usher you to your seat. And there, very limited seat, seating directly around you. And oh, oh, great. Terrific. It seems that everyone wants to sit next to you. Even better. It's time that you don't want to sit next to a certain other people either. Uh, it's better that if, you, if they don't want to sit next to certain other people either. To start with, no one wants to sit next to no one wants to sit next to Trapper. Meanwhile, he refuses to sit next to Wraith or Trickster. Oh yeah, Trickster is here. Surprise! Yeah, <laughs> well, they don't call him Expected Stir. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. Even though I get nervous around crowds of killers, and my whole shtick gets a little flustered. Hey there, you're you're looking good. You're looking really good. And we literally can't let Huntress and Trapper sit together. No, seriously, their arms are too big, like they, they can't fit in the table side by side. I figured. Look at this. We can we can't even fit everyone on uh, on screen at the same time. You probably think it'd be the best error, but it's not. It's completely intentional. <laughs> like let, let that be lost in for you. Every error you think you see is a choice. Got that? Okay, do I and Claudette are directing traffic. You sit on one side, the rest of them all sit opposite of you. Huntress and Trap Huntress and Trapper can sit at the ends with their enormous sexy arms. Now everyone is seated, we can bring them dinner. Tonight's meal uh, was prepped slowly and carefully with both love and hate for 12 hours over a spit. We hope you all enjoy, we really, really hope you do. May, you don't actually tell us what you're serving. What are we eating? It's meat. Seasoned with specific number of uh, special herbs and spices that, are, that, are specifically can't, that we specifically can't uh, divulge. Oh, my favorite, meat is good. Meat is murder. You said that, the wraith, meat is murder. Would you know concern that's what you've been up to? Who are you to get judgy now? <laughs> Feel spirit. Like, like I like this. So, like, the huntress is is simple and nice, but the, the wraith, like, I don't know, the spirit's just kind of meh. It's, it's, just, it's just sharing facts. You know, you need to be murder somebody who eat meat. So, like, technically true. Technically true is the best kind of true. Okay, enough yapping. Let's see. You know what do you think? I'm um, thinking we're gonna be a person. Uh, uh, it's gonna be a person on the on the at uh, that spit, right? 
of or several parts of overlapping people perhaps I haven't seen this many pigs wearing palm tree button down prints you know when you look closely at the spit you spot that definitely appears of to be scraps of fabric sandwiched uh, sandwich between some layers of meat I think I might be sick is there anything else to eat this took 12 hours and we literally and we do literally everything else on this island actually there's one thing that you're not doing today you're not carving up the delectable meat now now wow he's right for a change because I am one with with I am with my broad act it it's the perfect tool for easily chopping anything in twain first who says twain something I swear it's like you're all from a in different historical eras oh yeah, I forgot he's a trapper uh, second I'll handle this with my cleaver fast powerful and clean at least I'm clean with the meat I cook no blood uh, the two of you are ideas <laughs> bicep swinging contest enough grow up Obviously, my gorgeous katana is the only option. Obs. The hell it is. And I'll show you both my katana that send you to actual hell if you'd like. Please stop. Wait, I hate to fight or talk or even look at each other in the eye. I can do it. Uh, I have the skull of Azeroth. Great. Instead of slicing it up, you'll club it into a second death. Hey, Nukuni. I know it wasn't obviously... It wasn't, I know it isn't what you wanted to eat, but hurry up and volunteer to carve up Felix. I mean, dinner. Otherwise, this is going on for hours. No hyperbole. They once argued over who had the most effective weapon for 72 hours straight. And it doesn't matter which one does it. When they're done, they'll take the long. They'll take even longer cleaning their weapon. All of them explain the value of maintaining your tools. Despise, despite being a bunch of cold blooded killers, for some reason, they're always terrified of. Uh, uh, oh, gosh, Ted. Oh god, I had a sneeze pass by during that conversation, and oh my god, like my eyes watered because it was one of those paintball seasons you like have, and they just kind of come and then go, and you're like, oh god. <laughs> hey, why don't you just let me carve up dinner? Splendid idea. We hate to, for we hate for it to go cold. We hate we hate what he hated when it got cold. Here's a machete, freshly sharpened. Mini game consists of two parts. Two, to, uh, on uh, top of the pointer, which rotates in a clockwise direction, you your uh, target going for it. Sometimes the target immediately visible when the pointer arrives. Press the space bar to stop the pointer while the target is when fail to land on the target and you will lose. The team is the perfect success. Landing on the target, oh, this area will not end. Okay, Drella, you ready? Okay. Ready. Here we go, slice. Okay. Perfect. God. Perfect. Not bad. Oh. Da, 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 da. Perfect. Da, 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 da. Not bad. Okay. That was pretty good. No, there we go. That was pretty good. I didn't see what you could do with a less clumsy weapon. Yeah. I see, I'd li uh, like, yeah, like I said, machetes are dumb. Dinner is re uh, is finally served for real. The sounds especially uh, the sound. Oh, she actually gave me a compliment. That's nice. There was just there was no back end to that. It was just a good compliment. The sounds especially coming from <laughs> from the mass killers while they eat, which involve lifting their masks and shoveling food up from behind them, are nasty. Spirit meanwhile doesn't even eat. She's the only one who seems to really be embraced for being dead. They're all dead, right? They're, this is obviously hell. I mean, come on. <laughs> Come on, we're still trying to be mysterious here. You th oh god, I missed the ah Something about the ocean saying like ah who cares? Well, at least they're lifting their mask This is only 99% as disgusting as it, it could be if they are just trying to mash stuff through there. I Guess yeah, it could be a little worse Spirit why, uh, why don't you why are you hungry? Uh, the two best things about being dead is not having to eat And the and uh, that's only one thing Think about it, nuclear. Number two is no number two. One less thing to think about in the afterlife. Eh, uh, true. Even if I wanted to, I would have no idea what would what would actually follow. You might have noticed, but I'm mostly just a bunch of dismembered body parts floating. You know, that's a good part. So, you see how deep this cut is in my abdomen is? I don't think my digestive tract connects anymore. That's, that's fair. <laughs> Between... Between the food and the behavior of the group, that might be worst meal in history. But even worse is that they're staring at you. You're not eating. They don't like that. I think that they want the expression. Why? Uh, what do you tell them? Uh, I, uh, 
This is gross. I'm sorry, look at that seagull. Hey, look at that seagull! Wow, you've ever seen a seagull that big? I have, and it's incredible. Anyways, uh, what are we talking about? Lame instruction. <laughs> yeah, she's right. You're pretty lame. Yeah, just own who you are. Never compromise. Didn't you wash up on the island with no memory of who you are and how you got here? Yes, you did, poor thing. Yeah, that's a great idea. You have no idea the last time you ate a real meal. You've been standing in the sun, but the seagull? Uh oh, you just made a, you made a lot of good points. I swear. You're beginning to feel lightheaded. It, it, it waved at me. Maybe you needed to eat to survive here. Either way, someone, uh, either that or someone poisoned you. No way, you haven't eaten. You, you, you can't be poisoned. Hmm. What are the answers? You're clearly just about to pass out. <laughs> yeah, but that seagull it waved at me. That's pretty odd to flex. Wait a sec, you haven't eaten, have you? No, that's a eagle. <laughs> well, we're going to end it off here uh, with the ocean talking to us after we've passed out. We'll see what happens when we wake up. So as always, guys, we'll catch you guys in the next episode. And remember, stay magical. See you guys. It's time to get magical.